and these sophisticated computer analyses of past crimes to help police departments deploy cops more effectively, efficiently to prevent future crimes. And it's actually working. In a Los Angeles precinct where predictive policing has been used, property crime dropped 13 percent in a six-month time frame. And when the technology was rolled out in Santa Cruz, the number of burglaries dropped over the year by 26 percent. So I was fascinated by this. And joining me now to discuss how big data is making police departments smarter is Zach Friend. He is a former crime analyst with the Santa Cruz Police Department, and he's now the city's newly elected county supervisor, probably elected because of your success in reducing crime. Zach, thanks so much for joining us inside the War Room. Thanks. It's an honor to be here. All right. So let's talk about this technology. Exactly how does it work? Well, it works in a very similar way to how we predict earthquake aftershocks. I mean, as you know, when you have an earthquake, there are predictable aftershocks. And it turns out when you have crime, there are predictable aftercrimes associated with it. So what the algorithm does is it just simply lets officers know when and where a crime will occur. Now, it kind of sounds like science fiction. It does. I know, but we've been able to show that it's more like science fact. Now, people are looking at the screen now. They're seeing a, a, a square block. Tell us tell us about that. So what the what the algorithm provides are 500 foot by 500 foot zones, these little square, red square blocks that our officers then go patrol. It doesn't tell them what to do. It